Good morning. Today we are headed out for a desert camping adventure. I have a couple of guests with me that a lot of you will recognize. I'm going to make some good food, enjoy some beautiful views, some warm sunshine. It's going to be awesome. Well, it looks like we are all set up here at camp out here in the desert of Southern California. We are free dispersed camping, and by we, I mean myself, my sister Jill, and her dog Birdie. Jill has her trailer here. A lot of you know Jill and Birdie from previous episodes, and yeah, it's just nice to be out here. We have full sunshine. It's going to be very nice to just absorb some vitamin D. Since I saw you last, I contracted the dread C word. I have been fortunate enough to have not contracted it up until now. So I made it almost to 2024 without having gotten it, but it did kick my butt. I've been uh, recuperating for probably about 10, 11 days. So I'm just coming out of it, starting to feel like myself again, other than having a pretty bad cough. So let me tell you, it just feels really good to be back out here and feeling some semblance of normalcy again. We're just gonna have a nice chill time out here. I am going to attempt to cook a whole chicken in my Ninja Foodi air fryer slash pressure cooker. So I've never done it before. Fingers crossed that it turns out because dinner is on me tonight. So we don't really have a backup in case that doesn't work out, but it should be good. It looks like it's really easy. Before getting sick, I was able to complete a couple of projects. So I'm gonna kind of go over with you some of the projects that I've been able to take care of while we're here and we're just gonna have a nice time here in the desert. We decided to get out here and take a little walk and just enjoy the desert scenery. It's beautiful out here. I'm gonna take a little break for my daily healthy habit, AG1. Have I mentioned that it tastes great too? 
AG1 offers immune defense. Essential vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced antioxidants like zinc and citrus bioflavonoids support immune defenses in the body and keep you prepared for morning scraping your icy windshield. Not only is AG1 great for immune defense, it's also great for gut health and nutrient replenishment, mood and stress balance, and focus and energy, just to name a few things. Whether it's grabbing food on the go or a holiday potluck, it's easy to get out of routine. Thanks to the science-driven blend of pre and probiotics and digestive enzymes, AG1 helps support gut health on the go with their trusty AG1 travel packs. I always pop a few travel packs in my purse and I make sure to never leave home without them. I definitely highly recommend you try AG1 for yourself and take advantage of all the amazing health benefits. And if you click that link below, they will give you a year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs for free with your first purchase. Thank you once again to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Now back to the show. Okay, back here at the Casa. I'm hungry. I'm going to make myself a little sandwich. In the early stages of being sick, I had zero appetite. Food tasted really funny. In fact, I made the exact same sandwich I just made now and I couldn't even finish it. It tasted completely different, like super, super salty. Some food tasted very salty and some just tasted downright just horrible. <laughs> so it feels good to actually have my normal sense of taste back. But you know, a lot of people say that it's just like an average cold. It is not. I mean, definitely the taste thing is not like an average cold. I felt a lot of nausea as well. So it feels good to be coming out on the other side of this thing. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, before I was down for the count, I did manage to accomplish a few projects that I've been meaning to do for quite some time now, so that felt good. And one of them was taking care of these cabinets. Unfortunately, these were covered in a laminate paper and the paper was peeling off here, 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 and here. So I went ahead and pulled them down. I removed the paper and unfortunately, the paper that was coming off already was very easy to remove. The paper that was stuck on there was not so easy. So it was much more difficult than I would have imagined it being, but I got them down, primed them, painted them, and then rehung them. So they look much, much better. I shouldn't have had to do it, but I'm happy with how they turned out. So here's a little bit of how that process went. So for today's project, I am pulling down these cabinet doors because as you can see, this chintzy laminate paper is peeling off. So I'm just gonna peel it all off and paint the cabinet doors. Voila, the doors are off. So now we're going to fix them up and make them look beautiful again. Okay, these are all painted and ready for the hardware to be put back on. It was tougher than I thought because the paper that was stuck on there was really stuck on there. So you had some that was just falling off and some that was very difficult to remove. So anyway, they do look way better. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the hardware back on. You probably can't see me very well because I'm in silhouette since I'm backlit, but the other thing that I did is I went ahead and took down the blinds and put up these curtains. These are blackout thermal curtains. This blind was broken and this blind was broken, and I did not want to replace them with the same cheap blinds, and they were also kind of sheer, so these give me much more privacy. I just went ahead and pulled the old blinds down, and I put tension rods up, and the balance is what's holding that tension rod up. I went ahead and hung these curtains I used some hemming tape so that I didn't even have to sew and just went ahead and hemmed them to size and bought these little ties from Amazon and voila I think it looks much better I think it looks homier and lastly so far and the biggest project that I did was replacing the headlights on my truck and I did it by myself so I'm very proud of myself with the help of some how-to YouTube videos it really was not that difficult but these were so old and so fogged up and scratched up and you couldn't even see out of them at night I barely had any 
lights at night. It was, it was actually very unsafe. These ones here were actually broken off. The brackets that hold them in place were broken. They were hanging halfway off. I had them taped on. Um, I think the last time I drove down Hole in the Rock Road did them in I'm really rough on my vehicle. I drive down a lot of dirt roads, gnarly roads, washboard roads, and truck takes a little bit of a beating, but they look so much nicer now. So let me show you a little bit of how that process went. Okay, today I'm gonna attempt to change out these headlights. I ordered brand new ones since I'm here with family. I can barely see out of these. As you can see, they're very discolored, very foggy, scratched up, just bad, in bad, bad shape. And at night, I can barely see out of them, which is dangerous. So today, I'm gonna try to get these all changed out. All right, right here you can see the difference. It's a new one on top, old one on the bottom, and these are supposedly just plug and play. Uh, they were made in the OEM style, like the original Chevy lights. So we will uh, hope they will be easy to replace. There we go. I went ahead and did one side. You can see which side is done. Well, I did it with my own two hands, and if I can do it, you can do it too, that's for sure. It's truly amazing what you can accomplish if you put your mind to it. Don't be afraid to try things yourself. Save myself a little bit of labor, and I'm very happy with how they turned out. All right, this is what we've got for our chicken seasoning. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all the spices put together first and get that ready to rub on the chicken. We have one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, right. one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of salt, Half a teaspoon of black pepper. So dice some fresh thyme, roughly. And quarter a lemon. Okay. Now we are going to season our whole chicken with our rub. Underneath the skin as well some inside the cavity as well. Some of this garlic in here. Some of this thyme. We're gonna insert the entire lemon into the cavity. Now we're going to put this bad boy into the foodie. And right now we're gonna go ahead and put the pressure cooker lid on. Lock that into place. Okay, we poured a cup of water at the bottom and now we are gonna put it on pressure cook at high for 25 minutes. And there we go. Well, it is looking pretty good already. So right now we are going to add a little bit more of the rub. And then we are going to baste it with some honey and some oil. My sister's out there enjoying the smell. She can't wait to eat it, neither can I. All right, so now we're gonna put it on the air crisp mode for about 10 minutes. That's what's gonna get it like that roasted consistency. Had it air crisping for five minutes and it's looking fantastic. So I do think we can go a little bit longer. And there it is. It's just gorgeous and the juices are pouring out of it. And there you have it, the finished product. My sister's tasted it and she approves.
After dinner we got a nice warm fire going and just relaxed and chilled by the fire with good conversation. I didn't mention it earlier but my sister Jill had been sick too so we were both recuperating and just enjoying being outside. a beautiful morning here the sun is shining we've already been out enjoying our coffee and soaking in those rays it feels so good I slept really well last night it was nice and peaceful and quiet it's just been a nice time and getting outside has been incredible especially after being cooped up inside for quite a while now uh, dinner last night was fantastic I am so excited about the possibilities that I have with that little gadget the chicken was so moist so tender it was perfection uh, yeah, there's so many possibilities now. I can roast, I can bake in there, I can dehydrate, I can make pizza. I mean, there's just unlimited possibilities, so that's going to be a lot of fun. We are just going to enjoy another day here in the desert. I am going to get some breakfast going pretty soon. I have another little project that I want to do on the truck, and we're just going to enjoy this beautiful spot. This morning for breakfast, we're going to have some cheesy scrambled eggs and hash browns. And I have been craving hash browns, so it's time to indulge my craving. is done. You can definitely tell I'm not back to 100% yet. I'm still recuperating because we just went on a little walk, a little bit further than what we did yesterday in the same area, and I'm just pooped. <laughs> I had high ambitions to do a couple projects here at camp today, but I think that was a little bit overly ambitious. So I think I'm gonna just try to get one small project done and be happy with that. <laughs> so what I wanna try to do here is fix this drawer because the clasp that keeps it in place broke I actually already took it off and I found the rollers that match this roller clasps or latches I guess you could call them and I think I should be able to just unscrew that put the new receiver part in and be good to go so we'll try that 
All right, I got her done. Tonight I headed over to my sister's place for dinner and she made a magnificent spinach and cheese ravioli with parmesan on top. It was fantastic. As you might be able to tell, I am in my jammies and in my bed after dinner. My sister made a, an amazing dinner, by the way. She made some cheese and spinach ravioli and then a very decadent uh, hot chocolate, which was more like a dessert. After that, we went and sat by the fire and enjoyed our hot cocoa and talked for a while and just enjoyed the beautiful evening. And uh, now I'm back here in my trailer and I'm going to go ahead and call it a video here. I know this is probably on the shorter side for me. However, I am still recovering and the energy levels are just not up to standard. <laughs> not quite yet, but I'm getting there very quickly, thank goodness. And uh, anyhow, I hope you all enjoyed joining me on this little camp out. I hope that everyone's having a fantastic holiday season so far. And I will see you on the next adventure. See you soon, everybody. Bye-bye.